Hey, what's up? It's James from Chinese Drama Land, and welcome back to another video on the channel. This part two of the top 10 most anticipated upcoming Chinese costume xianxia fantasy dramas of 2023 you should add to your watch list. I uploaded part one of this video last week, so if you haven't watched it yet and you'd like to check it out after watching this video, click the link in the description down below. Most xianxia fantasy dramas on the list are S plus dramas, which means they have a high production value, so we can expect to see amazing visuals for most dramas on this list. Towards the end of the video, I'm going to give notable mentions to some upcoming Chinese costume xianxia fantasy dramas of 2023 you should add to your watch list as well. If you go on to enjoy the video, make sure to hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon if you want to get notified when I upload new videos like this in the future. If you want to join my Discord server and chat with people who are interested in Chinese dramas, click the link in the description down below. With that being said, let's get started with the video. Number 1. Love Never Fails, starring Crystal Yuan and Liu Shuiyi. Love Never Fails is adapted from the novel of the same name, and it tells a story of a millennium entangled love between a thousand-year-old camellia demon and the Zhongtian king. Crystal Yuan plays a little camellia demon who's cultivating to become an immortal after she boldly confessed her love and desire to marry Jin Xiu, played by Liu Xieyi, who's the king of heaven in charge of Zhongtian. When Hong Ning confesses her love to Jin Xiu, she gets rejected, and he tells her to focus on cultivation instead. She then spends hundreds of years cultivating to achieve her goal but begins to consider abandoning her path to cultivation when she finds out Jin Xiu is going to marry someone else. This is Crystal Yuan and Liu Shuiyi's second reunion. They both starred in the 2020 hit costume Xianxia fantasy romance drama Love and Redemption. Love Never Fails is slated for 40 episodes, and it's rumored to premiere sometime this month on Mango TV. Number 2. The Longest Promise, starring Xiao Zhan and Ren Min. The Longest Promise is adapted from the novel Zhu Yan, and it's a prequel to last year's costume fantasy romance drama Mirror Twin Cities, starring Li Feng and Yuki Chen. The Longest Promise released its first trailer during the 2021 Tencent Video Annual Press Conference, and it looks emotional and tearful, at least to me. Anyway, the drama takes place in Kongsan Continent and revolves around the tumultuous love story between Shi Ying and Zhu Yan. Xiao Zhan plays Shi Ying, a prince of Kongsan Continent who gets banished to the mountain to cultivate after his mother was framed. Originally focused on nothing but cultivation, he begins to develop romantic feelings for Zhu Yan, his disciple played by Ren Min, the princess of the Qi Yi tribe. Shi Ying and Zhu Yan don't voice out their feelings due to their teacher-student relationship. Their love is forbidden, as they find themselves standing on opposite sides in the fight for political struggle and undergo life and death situations together. They eventually put aside their issues and work together hand in hand to protect Kongsan Continent. The Longest Promise is slated for 43 episodes, and it's rumored to premiere in the second or third quarter of this year on Tencent. Number 3. Lost You Forever, starring Yang Zi, Zhang Wanyi, Deng Wei, and Tan Jiang Si. Lost You Forever is based on a novel series and it tells the love story of love and grief between a young maiden, her cousin, a noble, and a general. Yang Zi plays a girl who runs away from home and gets kidnapped and tortured by a nine-tailed fox. She manages to escape and settles down in a village as a doctor, and she meets Deng Wei's character, who was injured but she cures him, and their love blossoms. She later meets Tan Jian Si's character a general who always blackmailed her to give him medicine, or else he'll take her life. She later gets found by her cousin, played by Zhang Wanyi, who takes her back home. Lost You Forever has a stellar cast, and I can't wait for it to premiere. Zhang Wanyi's last historical drama to air is the 2021 drama Weaving a Tale of Love, where he played a supporting role, and this drama is his first costume fantasy drama. Tan Jianzi's last historical drama to air is the 2021 drama Court Lady, where he played the second male lead, and this is also his first costume fantasy drama. 
and I am also looking forward to his upcoming historical BL drama, Winner is King, co-starring Chun joo -yan. Lost You Forever is slated for 50 plus episodes, and it will premiere this summer on Tencent. Number 4. The Legend of Shun Li, starring Zhao Li Ying and Kenny Lin. The Legend of Shun Li is a 40 episode drama based on the novel accompanying The Phoenix. Zhao Li Ying plays Shun Li, an experienced general bestowed with the title of Princess Bi Song, who was born in the demon realm. Pressured into a political marriage with the Emperor's celestial son on her 1000th birthday, she transforms into her original form, a phoenix, after she gets injured in a fight. Kenny Lin plays Hong Ji, the last remaining god amongst the ancients in the world who chose to distance himself from everyone, but fate intervenes when the two meet in the human world in the unlikeliest of situations. This is Zhao Liying and Kenny Lin's second reunion. They both starred in the 2017 hit historical drama Princess Agents. And I know this is not the Princess Agents reunion we've been waiting for, but hey, at least we'll get to see Zhao Liying and Kenny Lin on screen again. Number 5. Snow Eagle Lord, starring Xu Kai and Gu Li Na Zha. Snow Eagle Lord is based on a novel that has been adapted into a popular anime series. Anyway, the drama is set in a mythical world in the mainland continent, and it tells the story of a boy raised in a small peaceful town, played by Shu Kai, whose peaceful life is disturbed when his parents get arrested by a foreign tribe. So he's left with the responsibility of protecting his brother and rescuing his family. Gulina Jia plays Yu Jing Chu, his love interest. Snow Eagle Lord is slated for 40 episodes and it's rumored to premiere sometime this month on Tencent. Number 6. Love You Seven Times, starring Ryan Ding and Yang Chao Yu. Yang Chao Yu plays Xiang Yun, a girl who was originally a cloud turned into a fairy by Yu Lao, the god of marriage and love in Chinese mythology. Ryan Ding plays Chu Kong, a boy who accidentally broke into Yu Lao's pavilion. Whilst quarreling with Xiang Yun one time, they unintentionally messed up Yu Lao's red thread thus wreaking havoc in the Three Realms, and this begins their cycle through seven lifetimes to fulfill the Jade Emperor's punishment before they can return to the Heavenly Realm. Love You Seven Times is slated for 36 episodes, and it will premiere this summer on Aichi. Number 7. The Demon Hunter's Romance, starring Alan Ren and Song Zuar. The Demon Hunter's Romance is a 36-episode drama that tells the story of a forbidden romance between a black leopard demon of the fairy soul, played by Alan Ren, and a human with a demonic heart, played by Song Zuar. There's a nine-year age gap between Alan Ren and Song Zuar, and I can't wait to see how that plays out in the drama. Anyway, Song Zuar's last costume drama to air is the 2020 costume fantasy drama Guardians of the Ancient Oath, co-starring Liu Wu and Xuan Yan. Xuan Yan also plays a supporting role in this drama, so this is Song Zuar and Xuan Yan's second reunion. Number 8. Destiny and Saving, starring Tong Meng Shi and Zhang Yuxi. Destiny and Saving is a 40-episode drama that tells the story of the fight between the righteous sect and the demon sect that has been going on for thousands of years. The leader of the Right Path and the Demon Star Master fought a decisive battle, but years later, the younger generations of the two became friends by chance. To protect his master, Shen Xiaoyu, played by Tong Meng Shi, pushed Feng Li Shui, played by Zhang Yuxi, off the cliff, but she was rescued and taken away by the first master of the demon cult. The fate of the two has since been rewritten. Feng Li Shu is set to become the leader of the demon cult, while Shen Xiaoyu will become the leader of the right path, and they're destined to meet and kill each other. Number 9. Chinese Paladin 4, starring Chen Zhiyuan and Zhu Jingyi. The Chinese Paladin franchise is adapted from a series of video games known as The Legend of Sword and Fairy, and the most famous drama adaptation is the 2005 drama Chinese Paladin, which starred Hu Ge and Crystal Liu. Chinese Paladin 4 is considered to be the prequel to Chinese Paladin 3. The Chinese Paladin franchise is a classic 
and one of the most loved and well-developed video games, which tells a touching story at its core. Chen Zhiyuan plays Yun Tianhe, a man who had been living alone on a mountaintop. One day, he sets out on a hunting trip where he meets Han Ling Sha, and they set out on a journey to uncover his parents' death, as he also embarks on a journey towards immortal cultivation. Zhu Jingyi plays Han Ling Sha, a young lady from a clan of short-lived tomb raiders. Along their journey, they befriended Murong Ziying, played by Mao Zijun, a skilled and kind swordmaster who was trained at Mount Kunlun's Qionghua school from a young age, and the adopted daughter of the magistrate Liu Mengli, played by Mao Shaohui. Chinese Paladin 4 is slated for 48 episodes, and it's set to premiere sometime this year on Ichii. Number 10. Battle Through the Heavens Season 2 Starring He Luo Luo and Ding Xiaoying Battle Through the Heavens, also known as Fights Break Sphere, is a 2018 costume fantasy romance drama that starred Liu Wu and Jelly Lin. The drama is adapted from the novel of the same name, and it tells the story of Xiao Yan, a genius child who suddenly loses all his powers in a world governed by strength and power, so he becomes an embarrassment to his family. When he reaches 15 years old, he accidentally summons Yao Lao from his mother's ring, and with his help, his skills improve by leaps and bounds. When his whole family gets assassinated, he embarks on a journey to find his family's killer and return peace to the martial world. This is one of my favorite dramas, but it ended with a cliffhanger, so fans have been looking forward to a sequel. In 2021, He Luo Luo Studio shared behind the scenes pictures as he wrapped filming fights Break Sphere Season 2. He Luo Luo will replace Liu Wu as the main male lead, and Ding Xiaoying is going to play the role of the main female lead. It's sad to say this, but the original cast of Season 1 won't return for the sequel. The drama's production team is keeping a low profile, so I couldn't find much info regarding the drama's plot for the second season, but my guess is Season 2 will probably pick up where Season 1 ended. Anyway, I haven't watched any of He Luo Luo's dramas, so I can't comment on his acting, but I've watched Ding Xiaoying's drama Sword Snow Stride, and I loved her character, so I can probably imagine her as Xiao Shunar, the main female lead. The earliest we can see Battle Through the Heavens Season 2 is sometime this year on Tencent. Let me give a quick honorable mention to some upcoming Chinese costume Xianxiao fantasy dramas you should also add to your watch list. An Eternal Thought, starring Zheng Yecheng and Sun Yi. Tiger Crane, starring Jiang Long, Zhang Linghe, and Wang Yuan. White Cat Legend, starring Ryan Ding and Zhou Qi. If you'd like to support me by contributing a dollar or more, check out my Ko-Fi page by clicking the link in the description down below. Let me know in the comment section down below which of these upcoming Chinese costume Xianxiao fantasy dramas you're looking forward to this year. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon if you want to get notified when I upload new videos like this in the future. I'll leave the link of part 1 of this video in the description down below if you'd like to check it out. If you want to watch more videos like this, click on one of the videos on the screen right now. That's all I have for you today. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you in the next video.